Dear English Literature Language Learners, English Honours are first year at a course, title course of Che Developing Writing Skills, Shetar Upore Choloman Rehtse Amar Aluchona. Aajke Aluchona hai, Ami Aise Ye Upore Kotha Bolbo. Je shomosto prashno gula dawa hai chhe, shi gula suggestion bitti. Abong protecta prashne ri uttota ami bolte dibo. Apnara prajun bothe ita shangroh korte pare nor you can write of your own language. Kitha ideas gula apnara apuri bolti dore khe. टॉपिक स्कूला आपने रखा चला गया था। ताहोंले आमी जी प्रश्नों कुला ऐखाने सेट कोड़े थे। आशा कोड़े ये प्रश्नों कुला पुरी खास पे अब हम शेष शबे प्रश्नों कुला जुदे आपने ना उत्तर कुला जुदे भालो कोड़े देखें। ताहोंले आशा कोड़े आपने दिल चुन्नो ऐठा भालो हो बे बा पुरी खाए भालो नंबर तो तो चे expose means to uncover or lay something bare or to discover something in a way that others know what it is. Expository is derived from exposition, which is a noun of expose. An expository essay is a genre of writing which tends to explain, illustrate, clarify, or explicate something in a way. That is that it becomes clear for readers. Therefore, it could be an investigation, evaluation, or even argumentation about an idea for clarification. Expository essay is further divided into five major categories. Shigula ki to dekhni descriptive essay. A descriptive essay describes something, some place, some experience. Or some situation through sensory information. Process essay. A process essay explains or shows a process of making or doing something. Comparison essay. A comparison essay makes comparison and contrast between two things. Cause or effect essay. A cause and effect essay finds out the cause of something and then its effect on something else. Problem or so, uh, solution essay. A problem or solution essay presents a pr problem and its solution for readers. In Pore Prashno, what is the function of an expository essay? The function of an expository essay is, is to clarify the clarify and expose things, ideas, persons, and places through description, process comparison, contrast, or through problem solution. The objective of this type of essay is to make readers aware of something given in the essay. It proves uh, full and detailed information in a way that readers become knowledgeable about the topic. What do you mean by narrative essay? A narrative essay is a type of essay that has a single motive or a central point around which the whole narrative it evolves. All incidents, happenings, and characters revolve around a single motive presented in the narrative. A narrative essay is similar to a simple five-paragraph essay in that it has the same format. It is only different in that it is a narrative having characters, incidents, and dialogues. For a define a formal essay. A formal essay is a piece of non-fiction writing that is states a thesis and provides evidence to back it up. This type of essay is commonly assigned to give school and college students uh, in language art classes as part of their writing education. Formal essays can range in length from a few paragraphs to many types of essays, pages, many typed pages depending on the complexity of the argument and in many students cases the particular assignments requirements these essays typically contain an introductory paragraph that requires the reader with a thesis statement followed by several paragraphs of evidence that support the writer's argument 
That's it typically ends with a conclusion that restates the thesis and reiterates the main points of the paper. Pari Prashna Jatri, what do you know about thesis statement? A thesis statement is a statement that occurs at the end of the introduction, after the background of information on the topic. The thesis statement is connected with the background information through a transition, which could be a full sentence or a simple transition word such as therefore, because, but, etc. The thesis statement is called the heart of the essay. The idea of an essay without a thesis statement is akin to a body without its heart. It is called, it is also called the central point or the core of an essay. It is comprised of evidences that the writer uses to elaborate on his topic further. Each of these evidences is then elaborated and discussed in the body paragraphs. If there are three body paragraphs, the thesis statement must have three evidences. And should it have more than three body paragraphs, may be additional evidences. In argumentative essays, these evidences support the topic, while the fourth evidence is against it. The same is the case of persuasive essays. <clears throat> this applies to five paragraph essays, but in case of longer essay, the thesis statement could make use of more than one sentence. There is a slight controversy over the placement of a thesis statement. Some writers and professors argue that it could be placed in the first paragraph at the end, while others feel that in longer essays it is not possible to give background information in just one paragraph. As background information takes two or three paragraphs, the thesis statement is kept slightly larger, having two or three sentences, and is placed at the end of the second or third paragraph. However, in a five-paragraph essay, the thesis statement is always placed at the end of the introduction after the background information. Pori Prashna Jatsi give a definition of subjective essay. A subjective essay includes personal pers uh, perspective and opinion without the need to seem objective or based on research. Many subjective essays are descriptive, meaning they describe how something looks or feels. This can include essays on lifestyles, backgrounds, or attitudes. Other subjective essays take the form of opinion editorials, which try to convince the reader of a particular point of view. Whatever the purpose, good subjective essays have several elements in common. A good subjective essay will incorporate vivid descriptions, figurative language, such as simile, imagery, or personification to make it interesting. Similes compare one thing to another using like or as. An example is, you are as beautiful as a summer day. Imagery means using visual language to describe something, including sensory perceptions. Personification is giving abstract human qualities to inanimate objects. An example is when Keats says a Grecian urn is a Sylvan historian. Descriptive language will pull in readers and help them empathize with Assis poets. Name the title on which an argumentative essay can be written. The title here are given The Reason Why I Like Coffee. The reason the rule of students in developing a nation. Humans are being turned into robots. Write down the names of four types of essays. Four types of essays are number one, expository essays, number two, argumentative essays. Number three, descriptive essay. Number four, narrative essay. For a question, what do you mean by an essay? Essay is derived from the French word essai, which means to attempt 
or to try. An essay is a short form of literary composition based on a single subject, matter, and often gives the personal opinion of the author. A famous English essayist, Aldous Huxley, defines essays as a literary device for saying almost everything about almost anything. The Oxford Dictionary describes it as a short piece of writing on a particular subject. In simple words, we can define it as a scholarly work in writing that provides the author's personal argument. What are the main types of essays? There are four types of essay. Expository essay. In an expository essay, the writer gives an explanation of an idea, theme, or issue to the audience by giving his personal opinions. This essay is presented through examples, definitions, comparisons, and contrast. Descriptive essay. As it sounds, this type of essay gives uh, a description about a particular topic or describes the traits and characteristics of something or a person in detail. It allows artistic freedom and creates images in the minds of readers through the use of the five senses. Narrative essay. Narrative essay is non-fiction but describes a story with sensory descriptions. The writer not only tells a story but also makes a point by giving reasons. Persuasive essay. In this type of essay, the writer tries to convince his readers to adopt his opinions and point of view on an issue after he provides them solid reasoning in this connection. It requires a lot of research to claim and defend an idea. It is also called an argumentative essay. What is Prashno? How many different types of essays are there? Definition essay. As the name suggests, a definition essay, definition type of essay defines different things, ideas and perceptions. Narrative essay. A narrative essay is a narration like a short story. It is, however, different from a short story that in that it is written in an essay format. Descriptive essay. A descriptive essay describes describes something to make readers feel, smell, see, taste, or hear what is described. Expository essay. An expository essay exposes things in detail to make readers understand without any complications. Persuasive essay. A persuasive essay is meant to convince the target audience to do something or not to do something. Argumentative essay. An argumentative essay is meant to present arguments in the favor of something. It has an additional fourth body paragraph that is meant to present opposite arguments. Analytical essay. An analytical essay analyzes something, such as in literature, an analytical essay analyzes a piece of literature from different targets or different angles. Comparison and contrast essay. A comparison and contrast essay makes either a comparison, a contrast, or both between two different or similar things. Cause and effect essay. A cause and effect essay makes readers understand the cause of things and their effects on other things. Critical essay. A critical essay is written on literary pieces to evaluate them on the basis of their merits or demerits. Process essay. A process essay outlines a process of making or breaking or doing something that readers understand fully and are able to do it after reading it. Synthesis essay. A synthesis essay means to synthesize different ideas to make a judgment about their merit and demerits. Explicatory essay. An explicatory essay is meant to explain a piece of literature. It is often written about poems, short stories, and novels. Rhetorical analysis essay. A rhetorical analysis essay evaluates a speech or a piece of rhetoric on the basis of rhetorical strategies and devices used in it. Review essay. 
A review essay discusses the merits and demerits of a book and evaluates it through a review. Simple essay. A simple essay is just a five paragraph essay that is written on any topic you after it is specified. Research essay. A research essay really revolves around a research question that is meant to answer some specific question through a research of the element of the relevant literature. What is the format of an essay? What it to? Generally, a simple five paragraph essay has five paragraphs including an introduction, three body paragraphs and a conclusion. An argumentative essay, however, has an additional paragraph which presents counter argument or opposing arguments in the same sequence. However, at the end of this paragraph, both the arguments are weighed in the favor of stronger arguments presented earlier in the three body paragraphs. For example, how many parts are there in an essay? Most writers think of essays as having three main parts introduction, body, conclusion. Each is made up of one or one or several paragraphs. What is an introduction in an essay? The purpose of the section is to introduce the topic and why it matters, identify the specific focus of the paper and indicate how the paper will be organized. Introduction begins by telling readers what the general topic of the paper is. To keep from being too bold or vol, efforts is made to incorporate a keyword from the title in the first sentence. What is the main body of an essay? The purpose of this section is to provide information and arguments that follow logically from the main point identified in introduction. It identifies the main ideas that support and develop paper's main point. These ideas are placed in a logical order that is by chronology or importance. For longer essays, it is required to use subheadings to level sections. Each idea is developed in a paragraph or series of paragraphs. To be sure how to structure paragraphs, follow is given this approach. Point. Provide our topic sentence that identifies the topic of the paragraph. Proof. Give evidence or examples that develop and explain the topic. That is, this may come from sources. Significance. Conclude the paragraph with sentence that tells the reader how the paragraph supports the main part of the essay. What is the conclusion of an essay? A conclusion is the last paragraph of an essay. It occurs after the body paragraphs. It occurs after the body paragraphs have said what they have to say. It is comprised of three important elements. Rephrasing of the thesis statement, summary of main ideas, concluding remarks. Give an outline of an essay. The outline is the bullet. This is the outline of the topic. Essay outline the approximate topic is the then introduction, introduction of the theme, the paragraph, college department, attention getter, uh, the thesis statement, supporting sentences. Number two, at a pore parate chuliachpe, main bullet, point one, supporting idea, uh, supporting idea, supporting idea, point two, a direct paragraph, supporting idea, supporting idea, point three, supporting idea, supporting idea. In the paragraph, and for conclusion, I'm okay. To the archive, for a paragraph, conclusion summing up, final opinion. If I have a complete paragraph, for a question, what is descriptive essay? A descriptive essay, as the name implies, is a form of essay that describes something. In this genre, students are assigned the task of describing objects, things places, experiences, persons, and situations. The students use sensory, sensory information to enable readers to use 
their five senses of touch, taste, smell, hearing and sight to understand the topic of the essay. Qualities of a descriptive essay Clear and concise Use of images Use of five senses As far as clear and concise language is concerned, it is necessary to describe things precisely. Imagery is used to make things seem real and remarkable. The use of the five senses creates the imagery or a mental picture for each reader. What do you know about critical essay? Contrary to the literal name of the critical, this type of essay is not only an interpretation but also an evaluation of a literary piece. It is written for a specific audience who are academically mature enough to understand the points raised in such a sage. A literary essay could re revolve around major motifs, themes, literary devices and terms, directions, meanings and above all the structure of a literary piece. Evaluation of the critical essay Critical essays in English started with Samuel Johnson. He kept the critical essays limited to his personal opinion comprising praise, admiration, and censure of the merits and demerits of literary pieces discussed in them. It was however Matthew Arnold who laid down the canons of literary critical essays. He claimed that critical essays should be interpretive, interpretive, interpretative and that there should not be any bias or sympathy in criticism. What is a literary essay? A literary analysis essay is an academic art assignment that examines and evaluates a work of literature or a given aspects of a specific literary piece. It tells about the big idea or theme of a book you have read. The literary essay may be about any book or any literary topic imaginable. What is the function of an argumentative essay? An argumentative essay presents both sides of an issue. However, it presents one side more positively or meticulously than the other one, so that readers could be swapped to the one the, the author intends. The major function of this type of essay is to present a case before the readers in a convincing manner, showing them the complete picture. What is, uh, what is argumentative essay? An argumentative essay is a type of essay that presents arguments about both sides of the it could be that both sides are presented equally balanced, or it could be that one side is presented more forcefully than the other. It all depends on the writer and what side he supports the most. The general structure of the argumentative essay follows this format. Introduction, um, attentive grammar, book, background information, this is statement, learning of introduction, Body that have been three body paragraphs, three major arguments, you know, that were counter arguments, uh, counter argument that be an argument to refute earlier arguments and give way to the actual position. That were conclusion that be rephrasing the thesis statement, major points, call to attention, or concluding remarks. What a question of what is persuasive essay? The term persuasive is an adjective derived from the verb persuade, which means to convince somebody. A persuasive essay is full of all the convincing techniques a writer can employ. It presents a situation and takes a stand, either in its favor or against it, to prove to readers whether it is beneficial or harmful for them. What do you know about an example essay? The example essay is one of the most basic essays in academic writing but can be extremely difficult. Example essays focus on one main idea which one can prove with several specific convincing examples. For a question, what purpose does the first paragraph of an essay serve? The introduction or first paragraphs have several purposes. It introduces the topic of the essay and uh, main arguments. This allows reader to focus attention on the ideas, drawing on what's uh, 
uh, he uh, already knows to understand words in some context. It allows to give overview of the main arguments. This helps to organize thoughts so that it is easier to write the rest of the text. It is a good idea to look back and review introduction when someone finished writing a first draft to make sure that the main arguments haven't changed. The overview also gives readers a short form of the text of the essay or an indication of how ideas have been organized. This makes it easier for the reader to absorb and understand the details. It is like giving a kind of roadmap of the information to help readers follow the logic of ideas. The introduction chances to draw the attention and interest of the readers. If the introduction is interesting, the reader will be more likely to read further with enthusiasm. Okay, thank you learners. Uh, in the next video, I will explain something more. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you.